What? What in the? Roiling quicksand everywhere you look. One wrong step, and you'll be swallowed up. Don't worry. I'm light as a feather. See? Uh. Anyway, we can't proceed south unless we figure out how to get past this place. And how are we supposed to do that? Even the prince sinks like a rock in the stuff. None of our bots will help either. The tank or jump bot would only be even worse off. It would be easy if we could just fly over it. But with planes outlawed... What if we just, you know, ran really fast? Explain, please. It kind of felt like I was sinking more slowly while I was running. Aha! Crossed before sinking to the point of no return, eh? Prince, thief, let's head back to Spino. Let me guess. And to the rescue again? Hey, Ann, you gotta build us the fastest ride ever. I'm fine, thanks for asking. Sounds fun, but I need the deets. You see, some intense quicksand is blocking our path south of here. We need something that can zip across it before it sinks. Well, can't you use your car? It's too slow. The sand would swallow it up. Hmm. In that case, maybe my bike might work. Too bad I don't have it. That's helpful. It got wrecked during my whole high-speed chase with the Royal Army back in Talbo. Couldn't you fix it if you had one of those core frame watchets? Sure, but I haven't recovered that from the wreck. We'll have to go get it. Then that's what we'll do. Where is it? I was pretty focused on just getting away, so I've only got a rough idea. I know it should be somewhere north of Talbo at least. How specific. But I think I'll be able to remember more once we get closer. Good. Let's go together. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. What did you say? I said, let's go together. <laughs> so you do need me on the team. That grin of yours is weirding me out. Oh, hush. Let's get going already. Strange. I know it's around here somewhere. Hmm. Maybe the royals claimed it after they arrested you. What's that? A Terrano. Seemed to be carrying something in its mouth. Speaking of which, I've heard that Terranos build their nests out of metal. If that's true, then maybe one of them took my bike? That's quite possible. Then we should go after it. It's already out of sight. Not to worry. They like to nest on rocky cliffs just like thee. Let's head after it and see if we can find a way up those cliffs. Is that what I think it is? You bet your tail it is. My motorcycle! Sweet! P Prince, wait! Ah. Uh Yeah. It's not happy to see us. And we've got no chance of outrunning something like that. Then there's only one option left. Breathing fire? Prince, get out of there! The ground's on fire!
So, can you fix it? I'm gonna need some parts for the repairs, but it should be fine. Maybe we can find the parts lying around here. You still want some more, huh? Huh? Come at me with all you got, then! Wait! Seriously? <sighs> I think the Terrano is just trying to protect its eggs. Oh! Don't worry. Those aren't what we're after. He's telling the truth. We just want my motorcycle back. It looks like it understood us. Hmm? Prince, let's get out of here already. Quick, before it changes its mind. Ah, good point. Oh, that was a blast. All right, my work here is done. Now I just need the right parts, as per usual. Sure, but don't you need a blueprint too? It's my bike. I could rebuild that thing in my sleep. No kidding. All righty then. There we go! Good as new! You are good. Now we can get through that quicksand. Come on, let's take it for a spin! Ha <laughs> ha! We made it past the quicksand! Papa! Beelzebub's here! All right! Are you ready for action, Guppy? We're getting that bounty for sure this time! Here goes! So, did you get him? Hey, you two okay? <sighs> More or less. What the heck just happened? Those idiots apparently still haven't learned. You don't mess with the Fiend Prince. Uh-oh! Beelzebub's still alive and kicking! Say what? So, uh, does he look mad? Uh, very. He's glaring right at us. <sighs> you two, take care of my ride. And you? I'm gonna go kick some swimmer butts! <gasps> oh, no you don't! <sighs> Fine then! It's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get! You're up against the biggest, baddest criminals in Sandland, the Swimmers! Time to join forces, boys! Pike! You're up against the biggest, baddest criminals in Sandland, the Swimmers! Time to join forces, boys! Spring actually exists? Can't say. 
But what I do believe in is the old man. If he says there's a spring, I bet he's right. If, and I mean if you find it, would you maybe let us swim there too? We might call ourselves the swimmers, but my sons never got the chance to so much as splash around in a kiddie pool. Eh, do what you like. Just one left! Whoa! No way! We've caught up to these jerks! <laughs> Serves you right for making me run all this way. I'm nowhere near where I started. Yikes! A freaking sandstorm? What lousy timing! There's nowhere to hide around here! Phew! That was close! Why is there light from deeper in? Yes, there we go. I wonder just how far the prince got off to. Uh, we should have made him take a walkie-talkie with him. Man. Uh, say something, thief? No, that wasn't me. That was... Hey, old man! Prince? Where are you shouting from? Hello? Did you forget about my telepathy? Anyway, enough about that. Guess where I am right now? I don't know. Where? The spring! I found your legendary spring! Can it be? You really made it to the spring? What? You telling me the word of a fiend's not good enough for you? This is, sorry. So, where is it? I'll show you. Just sit tight. This is Ari. May I have a moment, sire? What is it, General R.A.? I'm in the middle of a meal right now, you know. You hardly ever contact me to... Oh! Don't tell me you've gotten rid of Shiva already! My apologies, sire. You see... Supreme Commander Zeyu just told me something. He said you had personally ordered him to carry out the genocide of the Peachy and the destruction of the tank brigade 30 years ago. He... He what? Why would he tell people that explosion was deliberate now of all times? A anyway, that is a bold-faced lie. Z Zayu came up with that entire plan all on his own. I see. Yes. I am still pursuing Shiva, sire. All right, out. I, I can't believe it. It's true. All of it. Put me through to General Shiva, now. What? It's inside this rock formation? In incredible! I I can't believe it. This is incredible. I know, right? Aren't you impressed? Okay, let's split up and look around. Chief of this village, tell me, what is your business here? I 
was searching for the spring. A demon? By yourself? No, I came with my friends, Thief and Rao. Rao? If what we heard on the radio is correct, isn't that the name General Shiva goes by now? Yeah. Then you're saying Shiva's at our doorstep? Oh my. He only did what he did 30 years ago because he was being lied to. This creep named Zeyu tricked him into it. It sounds like he has had much on his conscience these many years. When you go back, tell him the past is forgiven. And I have a request. Way ahead of you. Don't worry, we'll keep this place a secret. You have my gratitude. Need anything from the outside world? Bet Rao would be happy to bring it by later. Oh, that would help immensely. We'd love as many canned goods, uh, articles of clothing, and shoes as you can get your hands on. You got it. Hey, what's going on? Did you find something? Yeah. Some peachy survivors and their kids. I told them the truth about what happened 30 years ago. W what? Oh my god. So they weren't wiped out after all. Forgive me. Prince, I have no right to ask this of you. But could we just leave this place be? I'd like to let the Peachy keep living in peace here. I figured you'd say that. I already told the Peachy that we'd forget we ever saw this place. I should have known you'd say that. Out of everyone I've met, I've never known anyone with a soul as pure as yours. Is that any way to compliment a fiend? Oh, right. I asked if they wanted anything, and they said canned food, clothes, and shoes. Of course. Once this is all over, I'll load up a truck with anything I can get and deliver them here. So, what do we do now? We have to find the king's water source. There's something fishy about it. I just know it. Yeah, but it's not gonna be easy. We don't even know where it is. And it's definitely gonna be well protected. The radio? Who in the world? Hey, flip that switch to put it on speaker. This is General Ore. Um, I'm, uh, just talking to myself, all right? <clears throat> it sure would put us in a tough spot if anyone were to follow the dried up riverbed all the way to its southern end, wouldn't it? If they did, they'd find the army's water source and discover the truth of the terrible secret there. And this would be especially bad timing for that, considering that I just ordered all the hard-working soldiers defending it to take some well-deserved vacation. I could use a break myself after hearing straight from the king that the events of 30 years ago transpired exactly as Thief said they did. Hell of a shock. I nearly burst a blood vessel. Over. Now I'm feeling in the mood to talk to myself as well. There are still men of honor serving in the Royal Army. I can see more hope for Sandman's future than I have in a damn long time. My thanks! Do you think Ari's gonna get in trouble for telling us all that stuff? He's well aware that Zeyu will discover what he's done before long, and that he will be punished for it. But then why did he tell us? What does he stand to gain? Perhaps it's in his blood. His father was a great man, too, after all. Supreme Commander Zeyu, we have General Are on the line! Give me that! Can you hear me, Are? What kind of lies have you been telling to the king, you bastard? And what of Shifa? Have you finished him or not? I'd appreciate some confirmation that you haven't completely lost your mind! Hello? Hello? Sorry, it seems reception's bad here. Can't hear what you're saying! Over! N no response from the troops guarding the water source or General Are. What? Dispatch my personal elite guard to the water source! 
Stop Shiva at all costs! <clears throat> According to information from the news office, a, a criminal organization attempted to go after the bounty on Shiva's head yesterday. But were instead defeated by him. With the help of a young but incredibly powerful red demon. A young red demon? That's Beelzebub! Beelzebub? Say who? Why is Shiva fighting alongside the Feed Prince? Get the research lab on the line! Can you hear me, Dr. Pose? Prepare the insect men for combat right away! And deploy our secret weapon as well! The, the insect men? That's too dangerous! They're not yet complete! I don't care! As long as they can kill Shiva and that demon, they're ready enough! As you wish. Do these old eyes deceive me? Oh, it's a dam. <sighs> Look there. I... I don't believe it. They dammed up the whole river. D -d then the river didn't dry up on its own. Guess planes are forbidden to keep people from seeing this. I don't understand humans. You'd go this far for money and power? Only one monster could come up with something like this. Commander Zeu. That stupid king is no more than a puppet. Dancing on Zeus' strings. So, what should we do? First, we destroy this dam. After that, we do the same to Zeu. Something's coming toward us. I don't see anything. Oh. Oh no. Seriously, don't understand humans. <laughs> At a loss for words now, are you? Just wait right there, Shiva. Beelzebub. I promise you that I will make it quick. Those pesky rats refuse to die. Dr. Pose! Ready the insect men for battle! Uh, are you really sure about this? We still haven't been able to achieve complete control over them. Once they defeat the enemy, they may turn on nearby civilians. Or for that matter, us! Idiot! What do you think we implanted those remote bombs in them for? Now go! Y yes sir Huh? What's that round thing? Can it be? It's been a long time, Shiva. I'm surprised you're still alive. I could say the same to you. Then again, you're too power hungry to let even death get in your way. Why do you always have to go and cause such trouble, Shiva? Why can't you leave things in peace? Peace? Don't make me laugh. Is this tyranny what you call peace? I know everything, Zayu. I hope you're prepared for the consequences. You should be prepared for the consequences of crossing me! You have no idea who you're dealing with! Dr. Pose! Now! that prince that pod i don't like the look of it yeah i know there's a nasty smell about it
Insect, Insect Man? Beelzebub! This is our ultimate weapon! Originally designed for the purpose of wiping you! Irritating demons off the map! The Insect Man! It will rid me of Siva! And you right along with it! Oh, dang. I'll admit, that thing does look dangerous. Old Timer, you made the right call bringing me along. Even you wouldn't be able to handle this guy. Well, will you be okay, Prince? I think you guys are forgetting an important fact. I'm Fiend. <laughs> hey, Ugly, if you want to run now, I'll let you go. How about it? But the prince <clears throat> You're not so tough. Hey, you all right? <laughs> Better be careful, Shiva. The insect man will attack any and every living creature on sight. My bad. Get in the tank with Thief. I'll draw it away from you guys. But... Now! Sorry. Come on, then. Bring it. Please allow me to join you. Appreciate it, old man. It's way too dangerous for you. Got it? Just hide in the tank with feet. Well, are you ready? How do you like that, Beelzebub? It seems even the Great Fiend Prince is utterly helpless before his power! That's what you think! Hey! What are you doing? Take that! Uh, oh no! Ow! 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 That hurt, you stupid hood! Here I go! Here I go! Done for. Believe me, you haven't really seen the prince yet. What? <laughs> you demons have been a thorn in my side for decades. But with this, it won't be long before none of you remain to plague me. Everyone underestimates Prince Beelzebub because of how kind hearted he is. But you seem to have forgotten something. When he said he is the most fearsome fiend in the world, he was telling the truth. When he snaps and unleashes the power of darkness, you'll learn the meaning of fear. This mad in ages. It's not safe here. Let's get a bit further back. How long do you intend to just stare off into space? He's only bluffing! Finish him off this instant! There. We should be far enough away now. Far enough? 
Aren't you overdoing it a bit? I once got too close. Nearly paid dearly for it. I can't believe it. What power? See? I told you. How? How can... <sighs> can you... understand me? If you can, then... we don't need to do this. Uh, damn it! If you can't kill Beelzebub yourself, just self-destruct and take him with you! Prince! Shiva! I've got a bomb with your name on it, too! What? Oh... General Ari. Shiva, reporting for my new assignment. I'm Appa. General, we'll protect our home, no matter what it takes. I'm a father now. Here's my son. Oh, isn't he cute? You're back. For you, I have no mercy.
for the grand finale. Ooh, let me guess. Blasting that down to smithereens with the tank. All right, this is a good spot. Take aim from here. You got it. How's that? <sighs> How can a dam be this tough? How about you lot try firing at it with your tanks as well? Worth a try, but I'm not sure that's gonna cut it either. Ha ha ha! So even the great Shiva himself can't break down a wall this thick! The, the swimmer. swimmer! Those rats. They must have followed us here. What? You wanna have another go? Well, wait a minute! We just wanted to give you a chance to purchase this here beauty! Be damned. Pretty serious ammunition for a bunch of two-bit crooks. This'll blast your damn to bits! I guarantee it! How's 30 million zenny sound? Please, like we have that kind of cat. You seem pretty friendly with the army. Isn't that just a drop in the bucket to them? Unfortunately, I'm about to be canned for betraying my oath of duty. I'm in no position to spare so much as 3,000 zenny, let alone 30 million. What? Dang! There goes my payday! But, Papa, you said you'd part with those shells for free! Idiot! Shut your trap! Fine. Let's just say you guys owe me one. Prince, that ammunition is precious. Do not miss. I know what I'm doing! <sighs> Come on now! Break through! Just stand there gawping, think for a second. Anyone in the riverbed is going to be swept away. Oh, that's right. News office, this is General Ari speaking. I have an urgent message the entire nation needs to hear. People of Sandland, water is returning to the river. Warn everyone you can, as soon as possible, to stay clear of the riverbed. Let it be known that those who sought out what dried up the river and restored its flow a General Shiva, who's been slandered as a criminal! And two of the unfairly maligned race of demons, the Fiend Prince, Beelzebub, and his comrade Thief! Yay! I will need to reveal the truth behind the senseless genocide of the Peachy in the near future. For now, rejoice in the return of the river and peace to this land! <sighs> What the meaning of this, General? Is it true that the water has returned to the river? Yes. Now there's enough water for everyone in Sandland again. Oh! Oh! Is that so? How er, wonderful. And the attack on the Peachy was a heinous conspiracy, carried out by Commander Zeo, who acted with full knowledge that what he was doing was wrong. Hmm. Just one big misunderstanding, I suppose. How about this? Why don't you share half of your own personal fortune with both the citizens of this country and the few remaining Peachy? Huh? If rumors got out about you being complicit in Zayu's scheme to cause and profit off the water shortage, that might sully your reputation. I would suggest making a serious effort to recapture the hearts of the people unless you want me. Making an unfortunate slip of the tongue. In the best interest of keeping your reign from coming to a sudden end. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, of course. Perhaps I will do just that. Bravo, sire. I would expect nothing less from our esteemed and honorable king of Sandland. Now that was something. I can rest easy knowing that the military will be in your hands instead of Zeus. 
Me, Commander? Don't be absurd. I intend to retire from the army. I never did as much harm as Zeyu, and I have blood on my hands as well. I'm just another villain. You should be the next Supreme Commander. You're joking. I'd never join the army again. You're the only choice for Supreme Commander. Go make a real king out of our foolish monarch, and protect the peace, okay? Hmm. Now, shall we go home? We'll have them lend us the tank for a little bit longer. So, Zeyu is no more? Yes, sir. Dispatch our troops at once. Remember, secrecy is imperative. Sir! <laughs> so it begins. The entire world will soon rest in the palms of our hands. for your return this whole time. Good! <laughs> then it's time to get my game on! Now, now, Prince. Don't you have to report back to the king first? Oh, yeah, right. I should go tell everyone back at Apato Village what happened, too. Gotcha! You think you'll drop by again? Sure, once things settle down. <laughs> See you around, then! Okay then, time to report back to Dad. Hey, Dad, I'm home. I gather your journey was fruitful. Yeah! Good, you may leave. How about we bump up game time to an hour and a half? Hmm? Woohoo! Thanks a bunch, Dad! Boys! It's time to play! Yay! Well, maybe I'm being too hasty. Perhaps I should give these human games a try before I judge them. Old man! Whoa! A lot of stuff you got there! I'm off to see the Peachy. These supplies are for them. Wanna come? <laughs> you bet! Ah, oh, shucks. I guess I'll tag along, too. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. Got this bot part as a peace offering from those little punks who wrecked my car. Figured you'd like it. Nice! Thanks! It's gonna be a long drive. Let's make a pit stop at Spino. Sounds good! It looks like water's returned to Spino, too. Welcome back! You actually pulled it off! Look how happy everyone is! You're the ones who brought back their smiles! Give the credit to the old man. The rest of us were just along for the ride. <laughs> of course. Now then, 
I think it's time we paid our respects to the people who supported us along the way. Off you go then. I'll be in the garage. So you won't take me in? Well, this isn't a decision I can make on my own. What's up? Pollock here wants to live in Spino. You're a peachy. Don't tell me you traveled here from the legendary spring alone. I did. Seeing all of you made me want to explore the world too. That was reckless of you. But why come to Spino? After Lassie told me about this place, I just knew I had to come visit. I swear, I'll make myself useful. Won't you let me stay? I mean, I don't really mind, but what can you do exactly? For starters, I can cook, do laundry, clean. Oh, and sew too. Wow, that's impressive. I can't do any of that stuff. Maybe so, but your skill with machines more than makes up for that. Aw, thanks, Gramps. Oh, I'm good with machines, too. That's probably my forte, actually. That's the peachy for you. The town will grow now that the water's back. They'll need help. I'll personally ask Mayor Tor to let you stay here. Thank you. Now you just need a place to stay. What about here? Are you sure? Yeah, it's too big for me by myself. Plus, I want to see your skills. By the way, I thought up a way to soup up the jump bot. Interested? Really? Let's do it! Say no more. All done. Now you can charge your jump to go even higher. Whoa, awesome! <laughs> I could do this much in my sleep. Gaining arrivals turned her into a show-off. Way to go, Anne. I need to follow your example. Thank you, one and all. I promise to pull my weight. <laughs> What's up, old man? You see something funny? No, I'm just surprised at how glad I am to be back in Spino. Why don't you just move in here for good? It's just not that easy. Well, we've got a long journey ahead of us. Make sure there's nothing left you need to do first. Well, well, what brings you here today? It's not much, but we've brought some provisions for the village. Oh, ho, ho. that is extremely kind of you. Not at all. It's the least I could do to attempt to atone for my crimes. If there's anything else you need, just ask. I'll keep it in mind. But let me give you something in return. Maybe this would be of some use to you. What's this? A gun? Yes, designed for self-defense. We call it a pow-pow. It's completely non-lethal. However, it can temporarily stun enemies, even at a considerable distance. Really? That does sound handy. Quite the peaceful solution to conflict, wouldn't you say? And the bizarre faces people make when hit by it! <laughs> hmm. As a sheriff, I'm sure you can make good use of it. Definitely. Thank you. Well, we best be on our way. Can't you stay a little longer? We've much to catch up on. I suppose we don't have to leave right away. Maybe we'll go have a look around while you two talk. You look happy. What you up to? Oh, Beelzebub! <laughs> Here, you can have one too. Oh, what's this? Is it tasty? <laughs> Just eat it. I wouldn't if I were you, Prince. You worry too much. Candy. It's called a floaty tablet. You can have more if you want. I can't see how these will be useful, but sure, why not? Anyway, you Peachy are good with bots, right? Can you fix a broken game console? <laughs> yeah, even a baby could do that. Really? Can I bring it next time? My console's been broken for ages. Bring it any time! Sweet! Huh? Where's the old man? He left the village, saying he needed some time alone. He did? 
All right, let's go after him. All right. Would you pass on a message to Rao for me? Even now that this vast river has returned, there are some mistakes that can't be washed away. But with the help of your new companions, your future can be bright and unblemished. I'm sure of it. Got it. I'll let him know. Hmm. <laughs> Is that what he thinks? Let's bring them more supplies later and see if they can fix my console. Sounds like a plan. Rao here. All right, speaking. It's a relief to finally reach you. I was starting to get worried something happened to you, too. Us, too? What do you mean? We've lost contact with the unit tasked to guard the battleship. And when we dispatched another nearby unit to investigate, they went AWOL, too. So now you want the old man to look into it for you? Beelzebub. I didn't realize you were there, too. <laughs> you never know where I might show up. The battleship belonged to Zeyu. I wonder what's going on. Okay, we'll look into it. Much appreciated. Contact me as soon as you find anything. Understood. Well, you heard the brief. Are you two coming along? Sure. Sounds fun. Thanks. <sighs> I just hope we don't run into anything too crazy. Zeyu's battleship crash-landed somewhere around the Big Dam, right? Yes, that's right. The Royal Army's been guarding the crash site. So someone tried to pick a fight with them? That we don't know. Maybe their transmitter just malfunctioned. Well, I certainly hope so. You okay? What the heck just happened? <clears throat> Some group I've never seen before suddenly attacked us. They took us out in an instant. Looks like he fell asleep. More like passed out. Who could defeat elite Royal Army soldiers in an instant? Stay with us. Can you speak? Tell us what happened. I... I don't know. Some thieves had snuck onto the ship to raid the place. While we were chasing them, a mysterious armed group suddenly showed up. That's when the shooting started. And at some point in all the chaos, I got hit. When it was all over, the ship's cargo ended up in that armed group's hands. Thieves in a mysterious armed group. Both after the ship's cargo? <gasps> Somebody help! I'm not with the Royalists! Calm yourself! We're on your side! You are? Oh, thank goodness. Did he just faint from relief? Hmm. What's this about Royalists? Oh, no. I don't want to die. Just sit tight. Your wound isn't lethal. General Shiva, are you here to save us? That armed group that attacked you, where'd they go? They split up. Half headed north, and the other half south. Our leader gathered anyone who could fight and raced south. What in the world happened here? No idea. In any case, let's get in touch with Ari. What? The guards were wiped out? They got caught between a band of thieves and some armed group. Thieves and bandits? Who could they have been? The thieves were likely junkers, but the other groups a mystery. One soldier alluded to being mistaken for a royalist. A royalist? It's possible that term refers to close allies of Zeyu and the king. Maybe the attackers mistook the battleship guards for royalists. Which means they had a grudge against Zeyu. Makes sense. We're going after the armed group that fled to the north. Could you get in touch with the unit that headed south? Understood. I'll lead a unit myself as well. If things go well, we can pincer the group that fled north. Sounds good. I'll be in touch. Thanks for your cooperation. Why did we just offer to go after a bunch of people we know are armed to the teeth? We can't let some unidentified armed group roam around freely. I can't believe this. Here you go again, dragging us into danger. How can we find them when all we know is they went north? Look, see these tire tracks? This is how we find them. Huh? There are raptor carcasses scattered everywhere. Maybe they tried attacking the armed group and paid the price. Look here. It's a busted army tank. Think they did this too? These people are not to be taken lightly. Perhaps we should reconsider chasing them down then. On the contrary, we should hurry up. Spino's just ahead. Rao here. General Are, do you copy? Are speaking. Where are you? We followed the tracks of the armed group north. Here we it go. seems they headed to Spino. Really? Understood. 
We'll head to Spino as well. Huh. Looks the same as always to me. Whew. I was freaking out for nothing. N not that it's like I was worried or anything. We should check in with her, just to make sure everything is all right. Oh, welcome back, everyone. It's just you? Where's Anne? She went off to the Lisop Junker Market to do some bargain hunting. Alone? Yes. She said the army's not our enemy anymore, so it's safe. I see. Pretty noisy out there. I wonder what's going on. I think it's coming from the town's entrance. Let's go see. Hey, are you okay? What happened to you? <laughs> Some shady guys came to the Junkers Market. They know how to fight. It took all I had in me just to run away. Old man. Hmm. It could be the armed group. The, the market? But Anne's at the market now! Let's go. To save the girl, you mean? We've got to, right? I mean, she's one of us now. Let's hurry. Pollock, we're leaving him with you. Uh, okay. Prince, is that... Oh, no. This is bad. Real bad. It's you guys! Did you come to save me? We're looking for a young woman named Anne. Did you see her? A woman? I, I think I know who you mean. Do you know where she is? Yeah. The bad guys were headed toward the Lisov battleship, and she... She chased after them. She what? Is she out of her mind? You! What are you doing? Where are you from? You better stand back, doll! If you don't want that pretty face getting ruined... Cut the crap and answer me! Hands off, you! Anne! These your friends? You guys back off too. Roar! <laughs> Demon! Look at them, thief! They're totally scared of us! <laughs> Come on, let's have some fun with this! Hear me, puny human! I am the great Beelzebub! The strongest, most fearsome fiend in the world! I knew it! But I feel like they're supposed to look a lot scarier than this, aren't they? <sighs> you know, you have a point. So what if he's a demon? He's still just a kid. Hey! Take the girl and get lost if you know what's good for you. Hold up. Can you imagine what the brass back home would say if we killed a demon? Hmm, you're right. We might even get promoted. Right? <laughs> this is our lucky break! <sighs> You've no idea what you're up against. Fine, bring it on. I'll put the fear of fiends back into you. <laughs> get it now? Wait, where are you going? Let go! I have to do this! What are you talking about? Please, just let me go! There's something I have to make sure of! Must be important. All right. But the three of us are coming with you. Huh? Why would you do that? Because you're one of us. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you. But please run if it gets dangerous, okay? Dangerous for me? Come on, let's go! What the? Looks like we can't get inside. Oh, great. Then where did they disappear to? Last time we were here, we used a different exit to escape. They probably headed in that direction. First Zeu ship, now the Lisa battleship. What are they after? Maybe they're looking for super valuable parts or something. Something so valuable they'd even take on the royal army to get their hands on it. Hmm. 